I'm Mike Fitt, Chairman of the Royal Parks Guild, a membership body supporting London's iconic Royal Parks. On the 14th of October 2021, the Guild, in partnership with the London Legacy Development Corporation, the Tree Council and Rochford Nurseries, along with a range of partners and supporters, came together to host the inspirational Day of Discovery. The event created the opportunity for de delegates to learn more about their chosen careers, the opportunities this presents, and meet each other. The Guild has been organising these Discovery Days for over a decade, and this year's was held in the stunning surroundings of London's famous Olympic Park. What follows is an overview of a remarkable day filmed by young people, including Royal Park's apprentices. I'm Ruth Lynn Wong Holmes and I work for the London Legacy Development Corporation as Design Principal for Landscape and Public Realm. So I have the amazing job of helping look after the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park in East London, Stratford. For a year now I've been the Vice Chair of the Royal Parks Guild and so brought it here uh, for an amazing day. And it's about 200 uh, apprentices and trainees and it's really about bringing people together because a lot of time people feel I would particularly with COVID, that they've been slightly isolated and not been able to see one another. So we thought it was a bit of a celebration. Um, and it also means that people can mix um, not only apprentices to apprentices and trainees to trainees, but also experts in the horticultural field or sector can share their knowledge. Lots of people want to see the next generation of them coming through. And this is a brilliant way to do it. They can talk to them, they can talk, give a speech, they can show them around the park, they can talk one-to-one, -one, they can share leaflets, tags, websites, anywhere that you can get information about the incredible range of jobs and career opportunities, um, and just to inspire them, particularly the emerging talent. They're young people who are coming through the sector um, and are now presenting to others to inspire them. And we just love that. We just love that section completely. Hi, my name's Sarah and I head up the Tree Council, which is a national charity that brings everybody together for the love of trees. And we have 6,000 volunteer tree wardens all across the UK. And we also have a network, a growing network of young tree champions. And we have some of them here today, both from London and from Devon. And it's been the most fantastic day to have all these young people who are so inspired and engaged with nature and with the environment who want to help tackle the nature and climate crises and, and want to safeguard the future of our planet. So we feel very honoured and privileged to be here with so many enthusiastic young people. My name is Jared Russell. I am a student studying Level 3 Extended Diploma for Arboriculture and Forestry at Cable Manor College, Enfield. About three years ago I didn't know anything about trees, didn't, couldn't tell you what an oak looked like, couldn't tell you anything about most plants to be honest, but now as long as it has lignin in it I, th I have a fairly good idea of how it works and since those three years I've basically just fallen in love with trees, forestry and plants in general. A few words of wisdom I might have for people coming into this industry is you are essentially the future for the entire planet. Without you we're not going to have a planet to live on anymore so Value what you do, value what you learn, and I hope you change the world for the best. I'm Sarah, I'm a diploma student at Kew Gardens. I just started a month ago, which is super exciting. Um, most of what I do at the moment is working in the gardens day to day, anything from weeding to plant propagation, care of the plants and really looking after the collections. And what most excites me about it is that Kew is so involved in conservation. So we really get to look after some very precious plants um, and just care for their futures and the future of the planet. 
in a way that I can still get my hands into the soil and dirty and active and that's, that's great for me. So a few words of wisdom that I have um, are that you really explore within horticulture and get involved, find out where your interest lies, define your goals and tell people about them because everybody out there wants to help you. So the Royal Parks Guild Discovery Day, we've had a great amount of talks by some experts. We've had emerging talent talks. Uh, we've had a great lunch and we're going out um, for tours of Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park in the afternoon, headed by more experts um, who can tell us about the history and the horticulture. At the end of the day, the Royal Parks Guild and apprentices were happy to help celebrate Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park's Green Flag Award for the year and also 25 years since Green Flag Award came into existence.